The first picture I took was the night before the execution. It was just moments after Bilal's mother had received a phone call from the court, telling her the execution will go ahead the very next day. She was distraught, crying and covering her face. The next morning at 5 a.m., people had gathered, mostly just praying and waiting. It was still dark and we saw the authorities getting ready. It was a very surreal scene for me. As we were waiting for them to bring out Bilal, I saw his mother sitting down behind the barriers on the ground. She had no energy left in her, resigned to the fact that she was going to lose her son. It was very moving. Then they brought Bilal out from the prison. He was breathing very heavily and was trying very hard to figure out what was going on around him. They took him to the chair and put the noose around his neck. He was screaming and praying loudly before he suddenly went silent. The victim's family came out and his mother addressed the crowd. She told them she'd been living in a nightmare since she lost her son. And even though in Islamic law it's recommended for the family to forgive, she couldn't bring herself to forgive the law. She walked close to the chair with her husband. And at that point, there was no indication she was ready to forgive. But then she asked for them to bring a chair so she could stand on it. And that's when she slapped Bilal. And she said, forgive him. The parents of the boy he had killed took the noose off Bilal's neck, forgiving him. Bilal's family rushed over and hugged and thanked the mother and father. They were praising them for what they did. Looking back now, I don't know how I took these pictures. I guess it's the power of the camera that allows you to focus. And that's the only reason I didn't break down and cry.